So now I want to show you how to cook a dry pickle. And this is exactly what you're going to do for your lab assignment. Hopefully you don't burn yourself like I do. Okay? I'm showing you in a shallow pan so you can see maybe a little better. You're going to go in your pot. So what I like to do, go on like maybe two, three hundred. I'll start on a high heat and then I'll lower it down. I like getting the pan hot first. <clears throat> If you're making a large batch, you would add it in stages. I'm going to show you how to add it in stages. This is a small quantity. Pounds are smaller, small. Well, when you're going in a pot, what I like to do is add sugar a little bit at a time. When it starts to melt, then I add a little bit more. You cannot go through any sugar stages this way. You only go to caramel. It's your only option. It's quicker, but it's only for caramel. And we're going to make a caramel candy. We're going to stop the cooking by adding cream and butter. I always forget the lemon, which goes in at the beginning. So another thing that helps prevent our sugar from crystallizing is adding a doctor. A doctor is an ingredient that helps prevent crystallization. We have several types of doctors, and depending on your recipe, we'll determine which doctor you use. When I was in school, we only used lemon juice period, and carrot corn syrup. So you're supposed to rub this in there, but I can't stand it on my hands. I'm just going to kind of add it here. But it will burn in the pot, so I'm going to get a little bit more in there right away. And I could have done that with the other batch. I like you to use wooden spoons when you're doing a caramel like this, because this is what happens. I know it's silicone, and it's OK, but we're cooking such a high temperature you ruin them. So we just got brand new wooden spoons in. Some of them, the baking one students have been using them, so some of them have a little bit of stuff on The goal is to have this the same color the whole time. So try your shaking, but you're going to have to stir at some point. Just don't go crazy with your spoon. I don't know how to scrape vanilla beans. You know, you split them and scrape them. Okay, can you do that, Nancy? Don't do it on my marbles. Don't put it on my marbles. Do it on the plastic. I already split it, so you just have to scrape it. So as I'm melted, I add another layer. Again, I'm trying to control the color. If you make it too blonde, a lot of Southerners say, eh, I don't like it dark. You will not evaporate enough. It'll be too soft, and when you go to put it in your candy, it'll just ooze out, and you won't be able to cap them. It's got to be caramel color. I've done that before. It's pretty irritating. And Nancy, can you want to cap that butter? seems lumpy when you scale it, sift it. <laughs> so you can see we're all melted here. So now what I'm working on, can you see that? Now I'm working on my color. As soon as it's that color, I'm going to stop the cooking with the cream. Okay, that's another way you can get a burn is by holding your pan on the cover. You add cream, you always want to be on the edge. Get a little spatter. It does hurt. Smell it? That's the best part. You can smell when you're there. And I forgot to turn the heat down, but turn it down or around. Once it starts to melt, turn it, or you preheat the pan, turn it down to 200. I'm on 350 right now, and it's going a little faster than I would like. Sorry. And I want you to be able to control your caramel, okay? And the other class with all the people I had to cook it up, you know, it was just. Um, They were on a high heat the whole time, so just turn the heat down. Okay, the butter. So if you want to make caramel sauce, same thing, but more cream, less butter. Same thing. All you do is adjust. Bless you. All you do is adjust that ratio. The butter helps prevent um, bad yeah. 
labeled, we let it vary, but it also helps uh, <coughs> when we add this to like caramelized nuts, it helps prevent it from getting sticky from where to the You will learn how to clean up. Good. This is just perfect. I hate to say it, but this is <laughs> for once, for once I'm doing it right. So you get to see the right technique. That is a I'm not going to take it. <laughs> I don't get them very often. All right, Nancy, can you help me scrape that? Sorry, Amy, I could have done it with the pan facing down. Okay. Now scrape that out. Okay, and again, you would clean this by filling it with water right into 